Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see how to create dictionary application using Python Tikenda. Let's get started. For this project, we need to install Py dictionary. You can use pip install py dictionary in the terminal command to install the py dictionary. Once installed, you can use from py dictionary. import py dictionary now we will import libraries from tikinder from tikinder import start now let's type main equal to tk to assign the top level widget which represents the main window of the application. Next we will set the title that we want to make it appear on the main window of the application say dictionary. Now we will add main dot main loop and run the application. This main dot main loop helps to run the application continuously. Now let's create a variable input value equal to string var. String var is a class inside Tikinder library to hold the string variables. And then we will create label using the label function. Say title equal to label and pass the main window. Provide the font for the title for the label sorry. font arial size 20 bold and then the text we want to display say dictionary now we will add in the column span title dot grid of column span 2 now let's run the program you could see the label is created Now let's type entry text entry. It's a variable to get the user input. And inside this, we pass the main window and the fonts. We want to use along with that we need to pass the text variable which is the one we just created the input variable input value and create column span 
of grid column or row equal to 1 and column equal to 0 how we will create a button the search button using the button function pass in the main window font And the text say any name for the button here I am giving it as search we will create a grid using grid function and pass the row equal to 1 column 1 we will run the program so first we have the label created and we have a text box to get the user input and we have a search button with the text search now to display the output we will create a text box using the text function output equal to text and pass the main window the width of the text box and font serial 12 and the font to be normal so we give the grid as output dot grid with column span 2 run this application so there is a text box, text box below the search button Now we will define a functionality for button click. Define a function button click. Inside this function, declare a variable dictionary and call the pi dictionary library now we will get the meaning of the text we want using dictionary dot meaning function and pass in the input value which we get from the user using input dot get and pass it as a, an argument to this meaning function now we will print and see what's the meaning of a word which we want to search so we had in the command and give it give the button click function so once type in any word enter search so you could see that the meaning is returned as a dictionary so the word test can be either noun or a verb so we have 
टू डिफरेंट कीज से नाउन एंड वर्ब नाउ वी विल सी दैट दिस मीनिंग डिक्शनरी रिटर्न द की एंड दी वैल्यू द फर्स्ट की विल हैव वैल्यू वन वैल्यू टू वैल्यू थ्री सिमिलरली द सेकेंड की हैज वैल्यू वन टू एंड थ्री इन आर केस नाउन इज द फर्स्ट की विद अ लिस्ट ऑफ वैल्यूज एंड वर्ब इज द सेकेंड की विद अनदर सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज वी कैन नॉट डिस्प्ले दिस डिक्शनरी टू द यूजर सो इन ऑर्डर टू मेक इट मोर रीडेबल वी विल डिक्लेयर एन एम टी स्ट्रिंग से टेक्सट एंड डिफाइन एन एम टी इन साइड द एम टी कोड्स for bullet points uh, we can copy the bullet font from our github repo which is given in the description below now we will iterate through each of the keys using for key in meaning dot keys function and we will append this to the empty string say key dot capitalize this is to just make it more readable we capitalize the string and add new line and assign it to the text and we will get the values in the meaning using square bracket brackets and append the values to the text same text along with the bullet points and next line let's print and see what's the result word and search so the first key is capitalized and the meaning of the word is is added along with the bullet point similarly we have verb and the second key is the verb and its meaning is added to the bullet points now we will pass the text to the output screen for the user to display before that we can clear the output text box using delete function and use insert function to add the text to the display box run the program type in text search so your output should look like this search another word food so you can even copy the output from the output text box hope this tutorial was helpful you can find the code in the github repository 
I will give the link in the description below. For more application oriented videos, please comment below and if you have any doubts, you can also mention in the comment box. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.